right, boys and girls, happy Sabbath. Today, we are talking about measurements. Can you say measurements? Very good. Now, Pastor Danielle, what are measurements? Well, measurements are how we know how much of something. So, here I have a teaspoon, I have a tablespoon, which is a little bit bigger, I have a quarter of a cup, I have a half a cup, and I have a tape measure, I have a ruler, I have my watch, which measures time, I can time things. Um, we use all kinds of measurements every single day. Now, I want to see if we can figure out or if we can measure how much God loves us. I'm going to use this picture as an example of God's love. So we're going to try to fill this pitcher using our measuring cups and spoons, okay? Now, let's see. You know, this is pretty big, so, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure it represents about how much God loves us. Let's see. So I got my teaspoon here, and I'm going to put it in my pitcher. And let's see how, how much it fills up. Oh, well, that didn't really do anything. Okay, let's try with a tablespoon. A tablespoon is a, a little bit bigger. Okay, let's see how much we can fill. Well, that didn't really do anything either, did it? You can barely even see the water at the bottom. Okay, let's try with a quarter of a cup. Let's try with a quarter of a cup and see if we can fill up this pitcher and know how much God loves us. Well, that didn't really fill up anything either. Okay, let's do half a cup. All right, maybe God's love is half a cup, plus a quarter of a cup, plus a tablespoon, plus a teaspoon. Well, that's not really, there's a lot more to go, isn't there? Well, perhaps God's love can't be measured with measuring cups and spoons. Let's try measuring God's love in length. Do you think that God's love is the length of this ruler? Length is how long it is. Now on this ruler, I have centimeters on this side and I have inches on this side. Do you think that God's love is one inch? Hmm, maybe two inches, maybe three inches, maybe six inches, maybe a whole foot. You know, God's love is probably much bigger than this, right? Let's see. Let's take this tape measure and see if I can touch my ceiling with it. Now this tape measure measures 10 feet. That's pretty big. So let's see. All right, we're still going. We're still going. We're still going up, up, up. All right, I touched my ceiling. Now that's pretty big. It's bigger than I can even reach. Do you think God's love is that big? Or do you think God's love is even bigger? God's love is even bigger than my tape measure. Okay. Can God be measured with time? Can we time God? Does God have a beginning and an end? Well, actually, no. The Bible tells us that God is eternal. That God goes from before there was even time to forever. I mean, there is no beginning and no end to God. His love must be pretty eternal and infinite, too. God's love is so big, we can't measure it. Can you believe that God's love is so big for you that it can't even be measured? If you reach your arms as big as you possibly can, God's love is still bigger than that. If you um, jump up as high as you can, stand on your tippy toes and reach your fingertips all the way up, God's love is still bigger than that. God's love is bigger than we can possibly begin to imagine. And it's eternal. 
It has no end. God will always love you. The Bible tells us that God loved the world so much that he sent Jesus to come to this earth, to be with us, and to die for our sins. That's how much God loves us. God loves us so much that God came down to be with us and to give up his life so that we can have life with him and spend forever with him in heaven. That sounds like really, really great news, doesn't it? You know, God loves us so much and we have so much to be glad for because of God's love. We can be glad, we can rejoice, we can be joyful, we can be filled with happiness because of God's incredible love for us. We're talking about joy today in our worship service and I hope that you all know and have joy because of how much God loves you. Goodbye boys and girls, have a wonderful rest of your Sabbath.